Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ben with Eritaba Gardens in Georgia, Zone 7. Welcome to 2023 Fig Arama in Watskinville, Georgia. Today we are gathered here to have a wonderful time to swap fig cuttings, fig trees, and to have fun eat, drink, exchange phone numbers and addresses. So today, the weather is good, it is cloudy. Last year was hot, but this year it is cloudy. Hopefully there won't be no rain. So it's time to have fun. So let's go and have fun. How you doing? Good. It's good to see. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm one of your so, uh, subscribers. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I feel honored. <laughs> I'm one of your I'm subscribers. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm flown to San Diego. I'm flown to San Diego. I'm flown to San Diego. I'm did you watch the video? I'm sure I did. It's on YouTube. The one for last year. Yeah. I was in it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to spend all the time. 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 I'm not going to yeah. Well, this area is where there are food. When it's time, we will come here to eat some food. All right. This is a beautiful place. Look at that. There are lots of fig trees to swap here. different varieties of fig trees that I will be giving out. Look at that. Wow. Wow, different varieties. Some people will be going home. Wow. Mike Gabriel. Little Miss Figgy. Olympia. Oh. So different varieties of figs to be given out some will exchange 
or trade and some are going to win raffles with these fake trades. Over there, uh, fig trees. There's the fig orchard right there. <clears throat> and very soon we will come and tour this fig orchard and see different varieties that the host is growing here. This is what's king. Watkinsville, Georgia. Watkinsville, Georgia. And those are peach trees at the back, but at the front, these are fig trees. Wow. There are some figs on this tree. And there are new growths right there. New growth. <clears throat> this is wonderful. Yeah, that tags. You go through anything you need? If I have all Oh, yeah, pretty much. I'm looking for a Hakeem D. Argentine because mine got froze out. What is it? Hakeem D. Argentine. Okay. Yeah. I don't have that. Which one is this one? Oh. Yellow long neck. Yeah, he brought. That's a really good one. Travis brought a lot. I gave. Oh, are those his? Yeah, that's because I see there's a lot of those. Yeah, I, 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 I was like, hey, I want this one. This is what I have though. Yeah, I have all yours. Nobody takes it. You can have it. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because my yellow long neck didn't come back. Oh, that's a really good one. I didn't bring that. Yeah. I didn't bring that one. That Mary, that Mary Lane is. Huge. And that's from a cutting this My Mary Lane didn't come back too. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, that polar vortex this it was year terrible. Was no Everything joke. was awake. Everything was oh, already awake. For us it was the right at Christmas yeah, that's, when that's yeah. the one that hurt me. Oh. Yeah. It yeah. was the one on Christmas, Christmas. Day. Yeah, yeah, that was the one that really hurt me. I went home and I moved all my pot of stuff inside for the eight days I was home. Mine were inside. And I had three <laughs> I had three that were in ground, but it was Chicago Hardia, uh, Olympian, and a um, brown turkey, which are all... All pretty cold yeah. tall. So yeah. they were fine. Yeah. No, I had no die off on any of them. Um, and then I have an unknown that was on the side of the house that was fine too. That's so. good. That is good. Yeah. My in grounds, you know, most of them died back pretty much, but they're fine. They come back. But the ones that were in the mushroom house, mm -hmm. I did lose some. Not mm. that many, but I, I was, we were in Knoxville. We weren't home yeah. those two days. And I was just like, gosh, I hope it's warm in there, you know. Yeah. So we did lose a few. I've been, I, I've been gone for six weeks out of the country. And my house sitters didn't do a very good job, so uh -oh. I lost two oh, no. when I came back. Oh no! What what two were those? Um, I lost a CDD uh, mutante and a uh, Martina Romero. The Martinica oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That one. Yes. I yeah. lost those two. Oh man. Oh my God. Those are both really nice ones too. I lost so, all my CDD. Oh. All my CDD. Yeah, I lost one. 
the um, Gigante. I lost that one. That's the only uh, Col de Dom I lost. But, yeah, just the one fig that really hurt was the Hatib de Argentil. I really, really, really loved that fig, and I was so happy mm. I was going to put it in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't have a backup on it, and I had, like, two or three little cuttings, but, you know, by the time I realized that, they were pretty old, and they didn't have much of a chance. They didn't. They didn't produce, so. Now I'm trying to replace it. Mm. And, well, and of course, it's become the hot food. And now everybody wants it. Well, I like your fun. Wow, that cozy <laughs> up. Wow, man, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, after last year, I was like, I, I need something. In fact, I came with my small hand towel too. But when I saw the cloud, I said, well, it might not be hot like that. I was sweating like Christmas goat last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last year. <laughs> <laughs> doing good how you doing it's nice to see you how you doing well it's nice to see oh you are okay i saw your name on that uh, fig there i saw my gabriel i said oh, okay that one's coming to me that's the one i'm coming home with oh okay that was a pre-trade oh okay and well, that's good yeah, I lost some uh, thick trees because of the cold. Oh, yeah, me too. Couple. Yeah, I, I lost more than 100. Oh, wow. Because I had about more than 200 thick trees, and they were all outside. In ground or in pots? No, in pots. I had seven, uh, nine in ground. Only two came back out of nine in the ground. Huh. Then the rest are in containers. They just died. Oh my goodness. About 80 something came back out of 200 plus. Where are you? Where do you live? Where is I live in Carrollton. Where? Carrollton. Carrollton, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm west of Atlanta. I had better luck than you did. Yeah. <laughs> all my stuff in pots came indoors, so I didn't lose anything in pots. Oh, I left all my outside. I left all my. I saw trouble coming. I was like, okay, these guys got to go. <laughs> With the 45 I had in ground, between the freeze and the ambrosia beetles, I cut all of them down to the ground. Mm. And all but three have come back. Came back, the okay. Well, I've learned from that one now. If, I, if it's going to be below 20, I look for ways to put some. The ones that won't make it, I just put them inside. Yeah. At least the garage, something. Get them out of the weather. Yeah. Yeah, that's on the the field. Yep, they are my new enemy. Last year it was two raccoons and a possum. I don't like sharing with those guys. My problem. to move over to the next county. My problem is the ground hog. <laughs> no, trap them and move them and well, that's what, that's what I, I, I actually build sweet grass. First I got it from one alone from the county, so I got the idea that I could make those things. So I made three of them, so I used to trap them and take it, I used to take it to the military station. You know, to break a lot of work. Oh, well, actually, we were doing a very narrow road. <laughs> Dean's Acres. Yes, sir. <laughs> so how's the fun doing? We're doing all right, surviving the heat. <laughs> the, uh, the extended cold yeah. in the spring combined with the heat, I think has given everyone a tough time with uh, with at least the traditional garden. Yeah. So um, we've had a pretty tough time with that for sure. Um, but muscadines love it. Oh yes. <laughs> Muscadines love it, and the new blackberries that we planted love it. If I can keep the deer out of them, that's the other problem. Oh, that is a problem. Keeping deer. Yeah. I have problem with brown hog. Really? We knock on wood somewhere. We we have not had those yet. I'm sure. Um, we think that squirrels are getting a lot of our uh, a lot of our blackberries. Mmm. Okay. So that's those might be next on the list to take care of. <laughs> I've set trap for my ground oak. I can't catch it. Can't him. catch them. No, it's been dodging my, my trap. <laughs> yeah, we had an issue like that with armadillos back in the that winter. We had armadillos just completely tearing up the yard, you know. And really? 
we have a window well, like where to get uh, to a window in our basement. Yeah. We had an armadillo dig. I don't know if it fell in or if it dug all the way down and came out the bottom. Whoa. I mean, you're talking six, seven foot deep. Deep. Yeah. Wow. And I kept trying to find him, and I finally saw him one day in time to go have my gun to take care of it <laughs> and then where he ran to i couldn't shoot because it was like right up next to my shop i was mm. like i don't want to shoot there and ricochet or something you know so yeah um those things they'll start moving if you get if you get after them <laughs> you think they're not doing anything but you get, you get after them they see what you're about to do they're, they're gonna take off oh yeah yeah, yeah. but uh yeah what the some of the new blackberries that we planted the deer nipped them about six inches or a foot off the ground so, of course, that meant that they all went this way instead of that way. But they didn't come back. Did they leave the wild uh, blackberries alone? Yeah. They left the wild ones alone. Yeah. I guess. There's plenty of wild ones around. Yeah. yeah. They came and eat the known varieties that I know when I'm growing. Yeah. Uh, that is serious. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we've been dealing with, all right, this year's going to be a mess for all of those that we planted, at least in that row. Yeah. Um, and I've thought about trying to just tip root all of them yeah. and then cutting them off, but I, just, I hadn't gotten out there and done that. That's my other option. Yeah, well, that's one. Uh, I did that this year too with one of my blackberries mm -hmm. I yeah I, I i did a huge group buy um with a bunch of local people to me on yeah. blackberries we ended up ordering over 200 plants mm. um and then i ended up with probably 40 plants and i i probably got 20 of them in the ground <laughs> Um, I, I still got others. I brought some to trade today, you know. We'll, uh, but, you know, it worked out for everybody because most people, you know, I ended up with a few extra from what I was going to order, but then we ended up with people that otherwise it would have cost them 7 or $8 for yeah. that particular variety, and they were able to get it for 4 mm. So we kind of all worked together to get a discount on the large, large quantity. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, it's nice to see you guys. Yeah, you as well. <laughs> <laughs> there was no way to hit well, They make a flail mower and all kinds of stuff. I would like to have one that has a little miniature round baler on the front. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, because I have an acre of taller by hand grass. And if I could bail that up, then I could mulch my trees or something. I think it would take yeah. you all. It would. It would take you a long time. It would, but I can't. Yeah, that. thank you. Mm -hmm. You'd be better off getting one of them manual Armstrong bailers and raking it up yeah. and stuffing it in there. This is it. Dean's Family yeah, Acres. That's him right there. <laughs> you can check his uh, YouTube channel. They have good videos right there. Dean's Family Acres. I would rather, I would rather, I would rather it be work smart and not have to work as hard because if you work as hard you're not as smart you know you want to be smarter than it actually there's a guy there's a guy and thing that got a whale and that is the host of fig aroma oh wow that's a cheese and that's high nitrogen, but I want to get that. Yeah, that's what I want. I don't have pine straw everywhere, do we? I don't have pine straw everywhere, do we? Well, it's time to eat. Look it up on your phone. I've been training, training, training. Yeah, yeah. Anything down there that has a blue tag, you want to Yeah, I'd love to. Because then it would have been the opportunity. Oh, hi. Sorry, I missed your your fig uh, event last last year. I yeah. couldn't come. Yeah, well, but maybe hopefully, come this year. Hopefully, this year. There's some flyers on the table over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay.
But look down there and look up the pole. Because I have it in way I have to swap it out. Yeah. Yeah. C A B O L L. I would look that up. It's probably. <laughs> Last year there was a fig ice cream. Last he, year yes. he can't make it this year. Yeah, he didn't make it this year. No. Yeah. There was fig ice cream last year. Yeah. Yeah, he said yesterday that he's not gonna be able to make it up here. Oh. The ice cream is still for sale, but you gotta go to his store to get it. Where? I don't know where it's at. Mm. If you reach out to him on the Facebook group, yeah. I'll tell you where it's at. Well, your fig usher is doing good. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's growing good. As long as it rains, yeah. it stays hot, the plants grow. Oh, yeah. But as soon as it hits a drop, it just stops. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, just put another 15 variety in the ground. Okay. After this fig trading in, the yeah. in Chattanooga, I'll probably have another 30. <laughs> 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 and yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. I was surprised when I first saw your video that you have orchard now. I said, yeah. wow. That's yeah, good. My neighbor sold me an acre and a half. Really? Just for the purpose of making a fig orchard. Yeah. Wow. That is beautiful. And I was surprised that your wife loved uh, Dr. Gowadi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's get it some deep. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this rice is delicious. It has raisin in it, it has carrot in this rice. I'm telling you, this is my first time of eating rice with raisin and carrots in it. And then this chicken right here tastes wonderful. This is my second plate. This is my second plate i'm telling you the chicken the rice is delicious well Yeah, we got we got one, two, three, four left. Four. 
Matthew! Which one? Oh, uh, the guest family. Yes, sir. Come on. It's the guest family. Yes. Yes, they're cleaning up. I mean, Thank you. we shouldn't even try. We should just stay in the restroom. Wait, what's that, Rob? After all? Now, Mike, where are you? Mike G. Pick a different name? Oh, he doesn't want to go okay. home with anything. Okay. Lori. Yay! This is Cat on now. I think. Okay. There's a Celeste. Okay. Celeste. We've got an unknown. This is a really large one, too. Oh, wow. That is big. I know what Michelle. 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 Yep. Oh. Yes, Michelle. All right. Yay. Baby, take that. Put that right there. Okay. Oh, this says Marcel. Is that right? It says Marcel. It, oh, it says unknown dark fig. Okay. Unknown uh, dark fig. I'm, I'm getting the unknown dark fig. Okay. <laughs> Celeste? Yeah. I, I'm going to bring some of mine up. Julio? <coughs> right. you oh, Celeste? All right, I'll be right Thank back. You. Let me get in. Let me get. Cowboy. He's so cute. Oh, thank you, Mike. Thank you. That's from UC Davis. I one of mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. That's one I did not have for that <laughs> Yeah, good. Carl? Yeah. LSU Red. <laughs> the last one. Thank you. Two more. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Fort Blasky. Connie. Oh. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh huh. Brooklyn White. Uh, Connie again. Oh, yeah, that, then that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Yeah, it should have gone to the other. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. The other. Okay. So you can take the cuttings and just Angel. Angel. Oh, yeah. did you get that one? Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> wow. So this is Brooklyn White. Oh, okay. Brooklyn White. Sorry. Okay, now I've already got this, so I'm going to let y'all draw somebody who okay. okay. doesn't have it. Okay. What about yellow Lebanese? Caitlin? <laughs> there you go. Brooklyn White. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. The last picture. Well, didn't. Did, what? Did, what? Did, what? Well, did, did, what? did you not put your ticket in? Oh, no. Yep. We, yeah, huh? Give this to Ben. And then I have, I have other figs down there. That's me. No, oh, I thought that the, I was pretty sure you put yours in. Okay, let me get. Well, my yellow Lebanese didn't come back, and I got it back. Oh yay! Yeah. <laughs> so I got yellow Lebanese back. Mine died last winter, and I got it back. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I won. Yellow Lebanese. I think all the new people got figs, right? Okay. Golden Celeste or LSU Purple? Yeah. Golden Celeste any different than Celeste? Yes. Oh, yeah, totally. It's different. Okay. Yep. There's some talks that this is champagne, LSU Champagne. Yeah, LSU Champagne. If you have LSU Champagne, it's the same thing. Okay, so that, that's what, yep. Good figs. Uh -huh. Did anybody that was new not get a pig? Did, did the entire guest family, did, did we all get something? Did everybody get a pig? 
No lying now. <laughs> LSU. <laughs> LSU purple. I know. Who else wants? <laughs> Does anyone want an LSU purple? Uh, I think he wants yeah, one. Right okay. Okay. There. there you go. Sure. All right, we're done. That happened uh, last year at Big Crawl. Last year, somebody brought like three of his kids. That's nice. Just do it. That's I how you know. do it. If anybody who does not have Celeste in your collection and you'd like to have Celeste, it is an heirloom fig that does really well in the South. If you don't have it, you should. Does anybody not have it? Okay. You, you have Celeste, huh? No, this is the original Celeste. This is the original. It's better. <laughs> Improved Celeste is just a sugar. Yeah, everybody. Do you like it? Okay. We have another LSU purple available. Anyone else want to LSU? That's funny because I ask them all the time. What's the difference? Anyone? You? Ryan. Ryan. Yep, yep, yep. Everyone want to give it to Ryan? Awesome. I have some. All right, everybody's good. It is Miss Lee County. Yes, how did you know? Because I was looking at you, I said, is she the one? But you didn't have name tag. I said, well, I will look for a way to find out if you are the one. I, I came one. here, but you were there. <laughs> I said, okay, I will, I will come back. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? At last. Yes, it's about time. Welcome to Figarama. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, ma'am, it's nice to meet you. I see that you are eating, so. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? Oh, wow. The girls, they don't help with the big, but my son, he's in there. He does help. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, how are your figs doing? They're doing well, but this heat. I yeah. Think it's not the freeze yeah <laughs> and now he so, yeah yeah so he has been a real challenge but you know we try to keep him watered and mm. you know. so oh you guys were not here when they did the uh giveaway the trading i wasn't here okay I'm well here. those ones are still available because the guys that brought them have not given them out yet so you guys might be able to get some so all of these over here are up for trade? Yeah, so especially the... what I brought over there? Okay, where is yours? I only have like two that I have left. Okay, you have to let... Uh, you see, the lady... With the hat on, is that Reno? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let her know that you came with those figs and then she will announce it if anybody wants or wants to trade. Okay. So which varieties did you come with? Well, I only brought... Um, uh, a family um, unknown. It's like I think it's a Celeste. Okay. And then um, I have a GE Mirror. Those other two um, Randall brought them for me. So, okay. Yeah. You said uh, which? So what's their name? The the ones that I brought. Yeah. GE Neary. Oh, okay, okay. And um, that's GE Neary. I should have trained it. And then this one. We call it Papa's Unknown, but I think it's a Celeste. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you might tell her that you have some uh, okay. fix to give out. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because he's the one that brought those uh, figs, and they, they have good varieties. Yeah, I know. I saw somebody had an LSU white honey. I'm pretty sure I missed that. No, it's, it's still there. He's the one that brought them. This guy? Yeah, so, okay. so I don't know what he's going to do. Maybe he's going to give them out later, but uh, you can okay. see him because I got uh, the Martinica Ramada from there. I went and met him. Okay. 
I said, so I asked if there is somebody's name on it. She said, no. I said, okay, well, I would like that. She said, okay, well, if nobody takes it, then go get it. So I got that. Wow, at last. Well, see, this year is even good. Last year, we were sweating like Christmas goat. Yeah, it rained even this morning. It rained our entire way here until we got maybe about 30 minutes out. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And then last year, there were more people last year than this year. Yeah. Um, that. yeah. Usually, Dennis is like the secretary. But she's not here yeah, today. Yeah. Yeah. Like to host at their place, and I say okay with that. I think that would just maybe get more people in that area, be closer to for y'all. Uh, warm Springs down next to Columbus, Georgia. Oh, we could be, but we we have enough property if you wanted to camp the night before you could camp on property. Yeah, oh, we would. Oh, we would so do that, man. We'd so much. Just so the RV. Thanks. Okay. So yeah, anyway. I'm in. Anyway, yeah. Most definitely. All of you that, hey, yeah. for those of you that come out and support it this year, we'd like to see you back there next year, plus others you can bring away. We got something going, let's keep it going. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, what's in your shed? Junk. Junk. This week I will try. This week I will try. Let's see. People that ask, how do we get started? You're probably responsible for it. Yeah. And 19, you had your first. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, we did our first. You did your first big frolic. Uh, we heard about it from Abdul at another local meeting that we attended. Bobby checked it out. Bobby's going to pass why. And she said, uh, I think we need to go. Well, I was already head over, so we went. And thoroughly enjoyed it. We were coming down Interstate 75, and I guess we're both tired. Bobby said, no, they're kind of short like that. I need to listen. She said, you know, we could do this at our house. And I said, yeah. Well, I was thinking the same thing. So you and Cabo were there responsible for getting it going. Well, I'm glad that that was inspiring. <laughs> I, I, I think more people ought to do it. Spread the big love. And that's why we came down to support what you guys are doing. And you always come up and support what we're doing. It's not like a competition thing. It's it's just sharing it's about that knowledge and that excitement the, the about the fellowship hobby. and yeah, learning about doing. different things yes. and learning what people are doing yeah. say, for yeah. themselves. Right there, it's just yeah. right down there. I've never yeah. seen yeah. that. Yeah. That yeah. is so interesting. That's fantastic. You know, that, like that the, the awesome. first year was 2019. The next year, 20, yeah. was shut down on kind of COVID. Yeah, because of COVID, yeah. And Bobby passed on in October. But I done told her that I'd do it. Now, Bobby was the one to put things together. I was the facilitator. I don't have that kind of brain uh, that she does. <laughs> well, hey, but you yeah. take teamwork. That's right. So, but, you know, we've kept it for three years, and Renee and Brad has said they'd like to do it at their place. And there's, by doing it there, most people that have come will probably show up there. I'd like to think so anyway. And it will, I think that will get people there that has not been there before or hadn't been here before. So it might have been just a little bit too far for it. Now it's closed. Yeah. Well, it, it all depends on how it goes. You know, the economy changes, things change, we change. So next year, hopefully, we'll see all of you at uh, Warm, uh, yeah, Warm Springs. Yep. I'll be there. So what that be will not leave this space. It's more clear.
It's just a bumblebee. It ain't gonna hurt you. Uh, there's a little carpenter bee. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, it's good to have a friend like that close. Yes, it always is. It always is. I'm, I'm grateful to have several in our area.